It's easy for a college basketball player to lose sight of reality between games, extensive travel, and mandatory study halls. But two local programs had the chance to experience what's really important in life. The men's basketball team from St. Francis College and the College of Mount St. Vincent participated Sunday in the third annual St. Ephraim's Parish Swish for Kids Basketball Classic. The players held relay races and taught basketball skills to more than 20 children battling cancer and those who have completed their treatment. I think it's great that the guys get a chance to, to come here and work with the kids a little bit. If we can put a smile on one or two of their faces, I, I think that's the best thing we can do all year. And if you watch the players with the kids, it's marvelous what they do. And the kids, their eyes are ready to pop out. They're so excited. They love being here. I learned how to dribble and shoot, and I had a lot of fun. It's awesome. We play monkey in the middle, steal the bacon, and we even do a little free throws. Yeah, they're pretty good. They're really, they're really fast, actually. And they, they learn quickly. We were just doing some passing drills and that. but. You know, they're, they're happy, we're happy, that's what it's all about. Throughout this whole time, we've seen a lot of uh, goodness coming out in so many ways, and it's very inspiring when you see young people uh, participating in events like this. Prior to the Sunday Clinic, St. Ephraim's hosted a one-day basketball classic on Saturday, featuring 14 Catholic youth organization teams. We held our third annual basketball classic, uh, benefiting the Francesco Lochasano Pediatric Cancer Foundation. All money's raised was uh, is going towards the foundation. Frankie Lochasano was a former student at St. Ephraim School and Zavarian High School, who passed away in 2007 after battling bone cancer and leukemia. We have a rapport with social workers and childhood cancer specialists all across the country. And they let us know the families who are feeling a financial dilemma due to the nature of their child's illness because it is just financially devastating. What we do is we give them financial assistance and we try to give some relief to that so that they can better focus on getting their child well. They just keep us informed of ongoing resources and like this event here today, the uh, bonding with other families so that Gisa knows that she's not alone, you know, going through this journey. For the first time, the players and coaches from Mount St. Vincent in the Bronx took part in the event. These kids really, you know, they're going through a tough time and really just puts your life into value. You know, oh, I'm, I'm struggling in class, I'm struggling on the basketball court, but that's nothing compared to what they're dealing with. And, you know, we give, we tip our hats towards these kids. So this is a great experience for our guys, and I'm, and I'm glad that we were, were able to take part in this. But we definitely would love to be back uh, next year and hopefully for many more years after that. The gym at St. Ephraim's was filled with smiles all day. But there was one smile that made the day complete, that of Frankie Lochisano looking down upon the children enjoying themselves on his home court. Reporting for Currents, I'm Jim Mancari.